I just have to go ahead and start it. I want you to take a look at something. I'm going to title this probably What is Mecca? What you're looking at here is throughout the last week or two what I've been able to glean what I've been able to gather from Mecca. Now there is a couple other little spaces that are in different places in the county that I went to and found some great stuff. You've seen some of these finds so I really won't highlight them. They're fantastic. But what you're going to see here this afternoon, and I want to take a little time to do it, as well as these, these are not from Mecca, these last two groups, little ones on the outside. Just the cleanup of them. But great artifacts from a couple different spots. So those and those are definitely not from Mecca. But it's all in the same area. I mean, I cannot travel uh, to find this stuff. So I'm fortunate that I live in rich Indian land. So what is Mecca? You're looking at Mecca right this second. What is Mecca? Mecca's pretty staggering, really, since late five. Now, what you're looking at, though, is about one-fifth of all the artifacts I've found there in the last two weeks. Let me do something here. Let me take these and hang on a second, everybody. Just getting my mind clear. There we go. You're looking at one-fifth. Now, I want to go around here and show you a couple setups here and get some up-close and clean-ups just to give you an idea of, uh, you know, my thankfulness. Uh, you know, I don't take it for granted. A lot of you guys out there have, have said, you know, man, you have about the best sites I've seen, etc., uh, etc. And so what I've done is just lay these out as the keepers for the last couple weeks. And let's take a look at them and... I'll talk a little bit about them as we go around. But this is what Mecca puts out. Uh, I mean, worth returning, right? I happen to believe that in my lifetime it would be inexhaustible. Lots of reasons for that. If you're curious, just put a shout out to me. Uh, just doubt it. Just doubt you could exhaust it. But uh, I'm going to go right around this circle and show the outside ones first because uh, it was just time. It was worth the cleanup. Look at these three right here. Just such a variety of materials, and I know a lot of people put a shout out for that. Look at this white point. Bifurcated, serrated. And happy 4th of July. You know, what is Mecca? Mecca is Indian land. Uh, there's not a lot of textiles. There's not a. I guess there's a fair amount of hammerstones and what have you. So there's there's quite a bit of occupation that was happening there. You're gonna view some pieces that you've caught on the video uh, in some other ways throughout the last couple weeks. But really, it's only been a couple weeks, maybe two, including having to be away and things. But uh, this is one rotation, if you will, one turn uh, with some rain uh, of the site. And what I mean by that is they're going to mess around with it a whole bunch more uh, before they bring in the crop. Look at that point. A little over two inches. You know, what is Mecca? Mecca's mind-blowing, really. Uh, I'm really thankful that we can save these artifacts. Now, don't get me wrong. This is not all you find uh, on the site. Some of the people have put a shout-out. You know, you only find whole pieces... Like I said, this is, uh, at best, one-fifth. I mean, look at the scraper. Look at that scraper, will you? I mean, just staggering stuff. It just staggers my mind. I'm going to go right around, hit this middle one, so you can see the material clearly. Look at the sugar quartz. Almost a, a coffee-colored fantastic piece too and it just does never it does not stop it hasn't stopped in years in four years and I have doubted it would so I return you know and I just do my diligence to get out there and sure enough my theory proves true it's staggering so here on Indian Trace this afternoon 4th of July is a great holiday 
there's lots going on. Uh, my prayers for anybody who's struggling with health issues, as you know this week with some of the tributes, uh, my father's suffering and, and uh, hurting. And so I'm supporting him, and uh, he's going to pass away soon, we believe, I, I believe. Unfortunately, I don't want it. We always want people to be able to hang out and, and be here forever, but it's the circle of life, you know. Nice Guilford, huh? And look at this. A little bit different off camera, right? Stellar point. So as we click along here, another Guilford. Now, Guilford Strait is in Mecca. That's why you're seeing a lot of Guilfords here. Uh, a fair share of Guilfords here. That's a Guilford. That's a Guilford Yuma. There's a lot there. Look at this. But they still do incredible work with the quartz. This piece is incredible. I don't think it's this is doing it justice. So, stands to reason, you know, that you got to keep going out there and uh, giving it your best shot. And look at this piece. This was an iceberg. Found this piece. And only that little bit of the tip where my fingernail is was sticking out. Now, that's a good two and a half inches. So, that was a sweet point. Anyway, well worth the efforts. And today, today's daymaker was this. But to give you a good view of it today, you know, I just wanted to do that. That's Rhyolite. And Rhyolite holds a special place for me here in North Carolina. That's a smoker. What is Mecca, right? Look at the relief on the back of that. This point, I mean, is just as nice on the other side. Take a look at it. They all are. These are all show quality points. And, uh, I want you all to be able to hear it in my voice. I definitely don't take it for granted. This is just crazy. I have a ton of stuff for the Koi Pond. I have a ton of stuff, good, good arrowheads to give away. But as for right now, these are sort of my uh, keepers, my show quality stuff. I believe there's probably a small handful in here that I will uh, give away. But if you're wondering what Mecca is, uh, this is Mecca. just to give you a really good look at it. I had a great couple shout outs about these arrangements and the natural light was perfect today and I decided to only make one video today. Uh, I probably could have been forced to make another if something smoking came up. But this is the one that came up today. So I'll finish it with that and hope everybody has a fantastic uh, day off, I guess, holiday. Thanks for tuning in to Indian Trace. And all that right there, as we know, that's Indian Trace. And that's what Mecca is. Coastal Piedmont, North American Indian. Be well out there. Look small and miss small, everybody.